Hello, my name is Mary Roddy from Charing Cross Hospital in London and the UK OSARX user group. And today's tutorial is aimed at delegates who attended the recent Imperial OSARX masterclass at the Royal College of Radiologists and we will revise how to remove patient identifiers from ultrasound images. At the time of recording I'm using OSARX Lite version 6.5 and you'll see here there is an ultrasound performed of myself and the problem with ultrasound images is that the patient identifiers are burned onto the image. For the first task we will anonymize the series of six images and if we open them up we need to select the rectangular region of interest tool. We then select the diagnostic part of the image and use the shutter tool to exclude the patient identifiers and you will notice that this has done this for all images in the series. What we need to do now is to export that as a new series and so we go to DICOM file, all images of series, we'll call this ultrasound neck and press OK. I now have a new anonymized uh, series of images so can backspace on the first series and delete it. Exactly the same process can be used for the larger series of 199 images. Again, we select the rectangular region of interest tool, draw around the area that we want to keep, press the shutter tool, and then export as a new DICOM series, remembering to press all images of series. I now have a new series of 199 images with no patient identifiers and at this point can backspace and delete the original series. This technique can also be used for nuclear medicine studies or other images where there is patient sensitive information on the edge of the image that you wish to exclude. This technique can also be applied to get rid of the warning not for diagnostic use logo that has been burned onto the images of the MRI knee which we imported previously from JPEGs. The final topic that we're going to cover in this tutorial is how to get rid of a particular area of text on an image such as this case where this has been marked as a red dot case by the radiographer. This requires a slightly different approach. Again we use the rectangular region of interest tool and cover the area that we want to lose from the image. Now this time we need to go to the menu bar labelled ROI and go down to the uh, text that says set pixel values to. When you get that the box will ask you whether you want to get rid of the pixels inside or outside the ROI and in this case we want to lose the pixels inside the ROI. So we make sure that that's clicked and then press OK and the text has disappeared. To get rid of the white box, simply backspace. We can now export this as a new DICOM file, current image only, as displayed in 8-bit RGB with ROIs and called X-ray wrist lateral. If we now take a look at the database window, we'll see that in addition to the original image that had the red dot sign on it, we have a new cleaned up image and we can simply delete the original by backspacing and pressing delete. So to summarize, we have covered how to use the region of interest and shutter tools to get rid of patient identifiers from single or multiple ultrasound images and also how to get rid of single areas of unwanted text on radiographic images to make them more suitable for teaching. I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much.